Hello and welcome to the 2 minute series. The topic for today is green shoe option. This is a simple word but it is often confused because of the name which is not very clear. Now in simple terms it means that whenever a security is what is issued, a green shoe option is an over allotment option. Now in simple words what it means is that suppose I want to issue an ish initial public offering and I have 100 shares that I want to sell but a demand is what is generated for more number of shares so I can go to the SEBI and I can ask for permission that I want to issue an over allotment and if I get that permission I will be able to issue some more shares say maybe 30 more shares to this additional 100 shares so this is something that is known as a green shoe option because here I have done an over allotment so in simple words this is what is green shoe now what is important here is that why is it called the green shoe option it is so called because this option was for the first time used in the year 1919 by a company that is the green shoe manufacturing company and that is the reason that this option has got its name Another thing that is important here is the function of this particular option. Now the use here is that a green shoe option can provide additional price stability to a security issue because the underwriter which is the investment banker has the ability to increase the supply and smooth out price fluctuations. For example, it might happen that if 100 shares are water to be sold, then there will be a huge amount of demand in some cases and this could lead to severe price fluctuations. So what happens is that if a green shoe option is what is available, then more number of shares will be issued in case of high demand and as a result of which the fluctuation in prices is something that can be controlled and better price stability is what is going to be ensured. So this is all about green shoe option. This is an important one even for prelims so that is the importance i thank you all for watching this video